SpaceX launching another Starlink mission this morning. Join us right now for more on the space race. It's Christian Davenport, space and NASA reporter for The Washington Post. He's also author of The Space Barons, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and the quest to colonize the cosmos. Christian, let's start with uh, just what's happened this morning and, and how important that is. Uh, it's huge. I mean, SpaceX is charging ahead. This was their 60th launch. Uh, of this year. They put another batch of Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. They've now got close to 3,500 of these satellites uh, flooding Earth orbit. They uh, tweeted the other day that they have about a million customers around the globe. They're continuing to move into different countries, into different markets, and it's a real race. They know they need to get these satellites up, get them up quick. They've been doing that. And also, of course, they're looking with a whole new program to move into national security markets with this as well. I mean, they see this as a huge revenue string for them if they're able to pull it off. What's the bigger business long term, Starlink or SpaceX itself, meaning the, 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 the rockets? Well, I, no, I think Starlink. I mean, if, if, if they can become an Internet provider for the world, uh, that could be potentially a huge business. I mean, it's risky launching rockets. I mean, you know, they're, they're charging, you know, 60 million dollars a, a, a launch. You do, you know, 50 or even 60. That that's a big business. That's pretty good, um, particularly if you're saving the rockets as they do it and not throwing them away, as had been the tradition. But if they can move into having the entire world as their customer or moving into markets, you know, from rural places into the United States to Africa, places in Europe, uh, you know, going direct to phones, airlines, military applications right. as they're trying to do. That's the real uh, growth, I think, that Elon and SpaceX are looking at how, in the long term. It's a lot of risk, though. How much um, room do they have ahead of just about everybody else, including Jeff Bezos, by the way, the owner of The Washington Post, your employer? Yeah, no, uh, they, they have a <laughs> they've got a huge lead right now. Um, uh, as you, you know, there are other companies that want to do this that are pursuing it. Amazon, obviously, one of them with its Kuiper system. They also uh, have uh, a license from the FCC to do this. They need to get their satellites up. They're moving ahead on this. Uh, they've got launch contracts out uh, to many different uh, companies. They're working on on getting a prototype and all of that out, but they haven't put their system up yet. Uh, so SpaceX is already out there doing it. If you talk to Amazon, they will tell you that this is a big enough market that there's enough for two or more players and they're not concerned about it uh, and that there is some benefit to coming in second and, you know, seeing other people make the mistakes and not repeat those and go in a more sort of careful and deliberate fashion. But SpaceX is out of the gate. They've done it for years. They've got all sorts of customers. And, and they're moving fast. So, so there's a huge gap between them and everyone else right now. Is it possible that others can catch up? Yeah, but, you know, we're going to have mm -hmm. to see.